Okay, hi Jim. Here's my 1010C. I have no uh, waypoints in it. And I'm going to start from scratch to give you an idea. I'm going to create a couple of waypoints. So here I'll put one here. And I'll put one, say, here. So now I have, you can see I've got two waypoints on the screen. Now I want to create a route from those waypoints. So I'm going to press, as you can see, I'll press the menu button. I will press enter for user data. I will highlight route. List pops up, I hit enter. Now I have the route list page. And also notice, see down here, this is your thing. You don't always have to write everything down because these are your hints of what comes next, what each button will really do, okay? So for example, right now you can see there's no root name, so I have to add a root name. So add equals plus, I hit the plus key, and root one comes on the screen. Now you can see still that there's no waypoints in there, so we have to add details, the, you know, waypoint details to the root. We only created a name. So, what we'll do here is, you see here, pressing page equals detail. So let's do that. I'll come over here and press page key. Now you notice it says up here, root detail page. There are no waypoints. So here again, we look at the bottom, you can see we have some choices. Add a save waypoint menu, or add a waypoint where we want to edit it completely, put in the latitude and longitude, we were plus plus. But in this case, we're going to press menu because we know that uh, we have waypoints in there. And now the waypoint box comes up, and you see it starts with the first one that's in memory. And because I want to start with that first one, all I need to do is press enter, and I will input that waypoint. So I'll press enter. Now you see that the waypoint is part of the root detail. So we repeat that process. Menu for adding a saved waypoint, so I press the menu button. Waypoint comes up. Now we see it says 001. We don't want that. We want 002. So we move the highlight. I'm using the arrow key to move the highlight over. And then I'm using the knob. You can see how as I turn it in one direction or another, I change the number. So I'm going to select number two. And once that, I'm going to hit enter for input. Now I have root two waypoints in starting with one going to two in this route now if i hit hit now the the cancel button it goes back to the root list and now it shows me that root 001 which a few minutes ago had no waypoints now has two its starting waypoint is 001 its ending is 002 that's the total distance for that route and it should be shown on display now when i hit cancel and then cancel my way out of the menus. Now you can see that the root is on, the two waypoints are connected, and the root is on the screen.